still prefer the old fashioned four inch nail. See, that's the nail that's in the nail gun, in the green nail gun.
Right, I just want to share something about this gun. The nozzle is, you know, the nose there, it's not It's not very good. There's been many a time when I've got in here, I know I'm working in a tight space, but there's many a time when I've got in a space like this, tried to, tried to get it in, tried to pull the trigger and fire, and it just don't fire, you know, and you just, you get your wood and you're under strain, and the bloody thing just won't fire. It's the base of this that gets in the way, because this has to be pushed all the way back try and show you so it's got to be pushed back right back like that so this piece gets in the way I'll try and show you on this if I get that in there see that bit hits the wood so you get your wood you tie it up served me wrong there didn't it but there it probably won't that won't fire. And I'm only down one inch or something. Anyway, that's my whinge. I've got all the noggins to do down here. Right, so that's all the timbers, I think, all the nails, everything. Time to start building walls. All the timbers came as 4.8s. I wanted 2.4s, but they didn't have them. I've got to cut them anyway. So I cut them in half, set myself a stop up, because I've got lots. So just because they're 4.8, I'll just cut them in half for the moment. They're going to get trimmed down, but at least I've got one square end on them now. I've picked out four pieces, four nice straight, or oh, straight as I can get anyway, 4.8s. Two will be for the bottom and the top, and the other two that are down here are for the front. It's going to have an opening cut in it, but I'll build the wall, then chop out where the where that opening is going to be. So now I can put them together. mark where all my uprights, my studs are going to go and I reckon 4.8 is near enough 5 metres we're going 500 mil centres we don't want it too busy on the wall so that's 5 metres, well 4.8 is 5 metres near enough so divided by 500 will give me 10 spaces 11 studs I'm doubling up on the corners so 11, 12, 13 these ends are 3 metres, so uh, divide that by 500, 6, 6 spaces, 7 studs, so 7 and 7, 14 and 13, 27. And for the front here we've got that opening, but I need to build two walls at either end, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so 13, 27, 35, is that right? <laughs> 35, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, it's about there. So I'll set a stop up on my saw and cut all these to the same length. Right, so I'm going to work out the studs. Working out 400 centres is easy, you know, 400, 800, 1200, so on, and the last one lands where it lands, you know. But I want spacing of about 500, we don't want it too busy like I say. And I want them all to be even, I don't want one joist, you know, one stud to be close to that wall, you know, than the others. I want them all to be even. So what I've done is used four off cuts on the end there. And then when the other wall comes in it's going to be like that. So four, three off cuts I mean. <laughs> And I've done the same at that end, three off cuts in there. And then I've measured between that mark and that mark, divided it by 500, which gives me 9, 9.06. If it was a different number, it might be a little bit awkward, but I'm going to go in 9 on that, I'm going to round it down to 9. So, 
that number divided by 500 gave me nine that's nine spaces I'm not having a timber on the end I've already come in on either end so it's eight studs in between so what I've got here is two four six eight studs that's I'm gonna call it 370 so that number that I measured across there I'll take off 370 and then divide it by nine and that should give me my distance between each stud and I'm gonna cut myself a like a spacer block a distance piece so 370 370 off off that divided by nine so 370 off that gives me 4160 divided by nine gives me 462 which it should sounds about right because we got you know quite a straight number there 9 500 so 45 mil gives me that which is 462 so I'll cut a spacer block 462 and I'll lay it out and see if I'm talking bollocks or not Right, so that's the 462 that I cut. I've nailed one of those studs, one of them off cuts on the end, split it, and I've gained a millimetre there. But that is basically space, stud, and then you see there I've gained a couple of millimetres. So space, stud, pencil marks just lost there, space, stood I'm about six or seven millimeters out there don't matter I've probably gained a millimeter on each one or something and like I said there's a millimeter there be fine
Right, normally in a house you'd probably just use off cuts, you know, little pieces in there. But I've got enough to waste a full timber. Plus I don't want any problem if you can see it. So I've just put one nail in at the moment and I've got it sat on this timber. So before I nail it, I'll pull it forward off that because Sod's Law says if I nail it there, one will come through and I'll nail it to this board. But if I pull it through forward off there, then the nail's not going in or anything. Now that's the back, all the lats are going to go on here because the fence is quite close. I'm going to put them on, put them on here while it's on the flat and then stand the whole thing up. But that means I've got to paint all these because he's buggered off at weekend. I'm just painting just one edge, he can do the rest when it goes up. So this is what we're using. That's our two coats. Quick roller. Right, it feels like there's rain in the air, so I think I'm going to leave that to dry hopefully before the rain comes and then it'll be nailing all battens on. Right, it's a back killer that. These last few, what I did was put this one on and then that gap there, I think, you know, once it's up, you'll see that gap. You know, it'll be obvious if it's, if it's a wedge. So I put that one on, got that gap right. And then these last few, I had to juggle. So they're a little bit less than 40 mil here and there. But this timber's all, all, all over the place. You know, it's a bit twisted. As you nail it down, it's hard to get absolute you know accuracy yeah that's ready to go up now